said I'm the man. Oh, yeah. No, 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 Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. Won't you tell me? Who the man, who the man now? Won't you tell me? Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. Looking back like what a year. Always knew we'd get to here. Never wanted overnight. Went to war to win the fight. Still working like I ain't been heard yet. Right like I ain't said a word yet. Labels ain't seeing my worth yet. But it's all love, I ain't served yet. Couple weeks of summer overseas. About to finally get to meet the team. Been a long division, but we steady adding up. Seen the vision, seeing what they see in us. Tired of hearing comparisons. There's nobody like me, be aware. I got you. Go get us back up on our feet again. These days I invest more, I buy less J's, I take less L's. So if you pass it to me, I'm good. Like got me higher than backwoods. I'm just doing everything I should. So when I say this, no, I knew I would. I knew I would. Who the man, who the man now? Won't you tell me? Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. Won't you tell me? Who the man, who the man now? Won't you tell me? Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. Nice one. Good. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got some friends who can tell me. Push it, Mike. Oh my. Push it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Your mind saying I ain't the man would have been alive. Question is, who's the better Mike? You got Mike Bockhead, which is my Mike. <laughs> and you've got. I was gonna call you. Diamond. Mike. Dude, so many people, when they, they saw. They seem like my passport, and they're like. No way, your name is really Mike Diamonds this whole time? To be fair, at one point I thought it was yeah, fake too. I promise you, ID, birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you park? I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'll wait till you get to there and I'll drive off and follow me. We got like a quick little 45 minute session. And yeah, now we're gonna just like go and film a Q&A and stuff uh, for Mike's channel. So basically everything from this point onwards is probably gonna be Mike's video. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to Mike, feel free to subscribe to him. His link will probably be below. Guess where this came from, people? I like going Lidl, but you rarely ever see me buy meats from Lidl. But today I had to, purely because I forgot to defrost my food I bought from Muscle Food. It's annoying, I do that every so often. The things I picked up was the veg, frozen fruits, so I got my strawberries and raspberries. So I'm basically about to go make my famous Nando's chicken. If you haven't seen that video, I'll try and remember to put in the link at the end of the video. But yeah, it's really good. Like, out of nowhere, that video started picking up and it's at like 12,000 views. Because when I first put it out, it didn't go anywhere. But people obviously came back and realized, yo, this guy's chefing with the pot. Anyway, I'm about to cook that later on today. Today is semi a busy day though, because obviously I came from work now. I want to build these cabinets, because I need to put cabinets in my room, because I feel like I need more space. I keep throwing shit on the floor, and that's not good when people come to my house and see the place sometimes. It's not. Uh, on point, especially my bedroom. I still want to try and go to the gym though because I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I really need to go today. More to be honest, to make sure I get my cardio in to get me in that deficit. Those of you who haven't seen this goal wall before, you need to go to my video. I think it's called How to Achieve Attainable Goals. I go into depth as to why I have this wall with kind of goals that every month I take something down and put new shit on. Trust me, there's loads on there and there's some funny ones. Sing this Drake. As today is a very busy day, it kind of makes sense for me to address this topic. I've been getting a lot of people messaging me saying that, oh, how can they balance uh, gym and work because they can't do it and they're too busy and whatnot. Now, I forgot to get in my car. But, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Might as well finish my thought while I'm in the car. Sit in the passenger with my own car, it's weird. All I can say when people say that to me is that you watching my videos, like I have a no I have a nine to five grind too. Like so those of you on the nine to five grind telling me you're finding it hard and stuff. Yes, it is hard, I agree with you there. Like sometimes it's just like I ain't got enough hours in the day. And sometimes it does it definitely affects my gym performance because some days I'd feel too tired when I'm in there and stuff like that. And especially because I do all this editing and stuff. But at the end of the day, it can be done. Like my physique isn't astoundingly great or anything but you can like get from shit to, to fit you know what I mean it's not impossible so it can be done it's just how you're looking at it you've got to find a way around it and find the balance like for example if I didn't do YouTube I would have so much more free time so for those of you that don't do YouTube and just have nine to five job and you find it hard as it is I'm like what are you complaining about this YouTube shit that I've been doing for you guys is like an extra sometimes three four hours on per and a day you know what I mean that's not including the filming like the editing is just that long so all I can say is it can be done, you just gotta get yourself into that mindset like yo, today I'm going to the gym even if it's only for 45 minutes because you can get a good workout in for 45 minutes if there's no cardio, it's just short rest periods you know what I mean, I've done that a couple of times when I haven't brought the camera just went to the gym by myself, 45 minutes, high volume, 
low low rest and just bang it out and it can be done trust me so there's no excuse so don't be thinking you come to me with that excuse i'm just gonna tell you like yo it can be done watch my videos watch a vlog so i'm sorry to those of you that maybe expected like some really i don't know some secret tips of how to balance work and fitness or whatever work and anything if there is no magic secret tip at the end of the day you just gotta do it and you've gotta like set time aside to make sure that you make it happen that's basically it i enjoy going to the gym so i make it happen i enjoy doing youtube videos so i made that happen you know what i mean it's literally that's what i'm going to focus it comes down to how much um, time and how much value do you put on it how priority is a better way to put it if it's high priority on your, on your list you're going to do it hopefully that my words of wisdom resonate with some of you if you're that nine to five grind have any tips for someone feel free to comment below but honestly i don't think there's any magic tips or anything i think it's highly it's a high priority for you you'll make it happen if it's a low priority you'll put other things above it like i don't know gaming watching tv two subscribers sent me two different pieces of clothing if you want me to see my opinion on it so I don't mind shouting out subscribers here and there. I don't say yes to everything people try and send me, but every so often I don't mind like helping out and shit. I may wear one of those to the gym today. Real, you know I've been on a roll, so I reinvent the wheel. I ain't got no time to stall. Guess I hold the pressure in. Came before playing for. Okay, it's just reached around 8 o'clock and I haven't finished doing it. But because I want to go to the gym today, as I said, it's about priorities. I'm going to the gym and finishing that today. The gym is probably more important because that doesn't necessarily need to be done today. So I'm going to finish that when I come back. Uh, so right now I'm going to start cooking, then go to the gym, hopefully around 9 o'clock. Ages think I'm about to get it in. I'm the man you took for granted. I'm the one you If you don't know, if you get anything like this, I always take the skin off my chicken. Uh, I know a lot of you haven't seen me do that often because I have chicken fillets most of the time. But those of you who've been watching from way back know that I always take the skin off my chicken because it's unnecessary fat. That's just bumping up the calories which you don't really need. So yeah, just strip that shit off. Bam, base four times bigger than the town. By the chorus, you may think my head got too big for the crowd. When seasoning your chicken, you gotta try and make sure that all the chicken gets sort of seasoned on it so it's like spread out, uh, what's the word? Spread out evenly, that's the word. If you spread out evenly, then obviously your chicken will taste better. I'll put on a bit more seasoning than I normally would, purely because I wouldn't mind having a, a tiny bit more spice. This ain't about the ego, this about loving what you found. You put it on the pan, uh, try and spread it evenly. I usually put them down face down first, so then I always flip them about three times. Normally it takes around 45 minutes to an hour to cook. It's ain't that bad, and I normally flip it every 15 or 20 minutes. And as I said, my recipe video for that, the full recipe, how to make nandos at home, is on the channel. You can have a YouTube or whatever. It's currently half nine, and the food is only just nine to finish. So really, I can't eat that now, because if I eat that, I'm going to have to like, let it digest before I go to the gym. So what I'm going to do is have a protein shake to hold me over. I'm going to make like a thickish kind of protein shake. Also, I'm wearing one of the t-shirts. It actually, it's actually better than that. It looks quite good, stretchy, fits well, it's like small. So I'm, I'm going to wear this one to the gym. This is the first one I tried on. For those of you that want to see my protein smoothie, this is 200 ml of almond milk. The protein, which I'm going to use, that low carb one I showed you in the last episode. I'm not using it technically because it's low carb, it just happens to be a low carb one. Carb one. But the main reason is because it's vanilla. With my protein smoothies, because I like adding like strawberries and berries and bananas, I think it tastes better with vanilla than it does with like chocolate. I normally put in two scoops of that. I'm going to use just a scoop and a half and try and add more fruits. I'm going to put some raspberries in there. Let's see. Fail. This is what happens when you rush people. Let's just show you the shit that just happened. That is what's happening right now. Fuck sake, wasted protein, wasted gains. We don't waste gains here, so this right now I can scoop up and put back in the shake. <laughs> oh, jeez, body went on a budget. Okay, that semi looks better, and I'm cleaning up the floor now with an old t shirt. You don't know how much, I just want to take this L and just say, fuck it, I'm not going to gym today. But because I know I'm not going tomorrow, I have to. You know, I just realised, pretty sure I have a protein waffle, which means I could have had that. My last protein waffle, all I needed was something to fill me up. If I knew I had this, I wouldn't have bothered with the shake. This is obviously karma for something. It just, I just look like a mess and you guys see me like randomly dropping shit, causing a mess. Fuck it, we're gonna get shit done, we're still going gym. Alright, my food is ready for when I come back. Parsnip, sweet potatoes, and the chicken is fully cooked. And my waffle is now done. And a protein smoothie, just raspberries and a scoop of protein and some almond milk. So I'm gonna have these before I go to the gym. I 
really wish I took my black ass to the gym yesterday. If I took my black ass to the gym yesterday when I should have, I wouldn't have had to call the gym today because I normally take Thursdays and Fridays off. So I work, normally try and go five days a week, Thursday and Fridays off. Because I didn't take my black ass to the gym yesterday, I've had to rush today and I didn't get to build my cat, finish building my cabinet thing. I've rushed around with my food and all that. So it's just like I said earlier in the video, it's about priorities. Yesterday, I didn't make the gym a priority and now it's coming to kick me in the ass. If I went to the gym like I was meant to, um, I would, I would, I'd be, I'd be eating my, my, my Nando's food right now. I, literally, I'm running out of time, so I'm only gonna do legs. I'm not doing any, any push day. I'll do that another day. I'm on the way there. I'll tell you like a fun fact or just something. Basically, ever since I hurt my back in, I think was it November, I have been avoiding doing squats because I've been really worried about my back, about injuring it because the weight on my back and stuff. Uh, but today, I think I'm gonna at least start going back to work it in again, like. Even if it's just light, even if it's just like one plate on the side, I need to like get more confident with it again and just not think that my back's gonna give out. And so yeah, I've really been avoiding that and deadlift. So as the, as that sports massage dude said, he said more or less just try and work it in, but just take your time. Don't just try and do straight as uh, much as you can. So today I'm gonna go in with the aims of doing no no 60 to 70 kg, just something light, high reps on it to do some high volume, and then see how my back feels tomorrow and the next day. And then if it feels fine, then I'll slowly start adding the weight back up and see how it goes from there. Oh, so yeah, it's been a really busy day, hasn't it? Told you, no excuses. We get shit happening. For my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean and no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife, and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen. That's alright. I'm tempted to move it higher, but I'm not gonna do that. I always do that. My kids can stay part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside. That's why I do this for you. I do this for the kids who sit a bit outside the mix. Who maybe cope through humor just to fit in for a bit. Who never let the world know when depression's setting in. To all of those who know you, that impression don't exist. And it ain't counterfeit, it's just a way to counter it. I'm living things I dreamed about, I still encounter it. It ain't something that a cigarette or alcohol can fix, but all because of it, I flip it. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I'm dripping wet. Oh, okay, I'm back from the gym, wet and everything, but this is all I wanted to get. My two thigh and leg pieces and some sweet potatoes and parsnips. Uh, uh, for each of those chicken legs, let me show you how big they are. For each of these chicken legs, you're looking at like roughly 30 grams of protein, so 60 grams of protein just from the chicken. Obviously, I took the skin off as well, and then I got my carbs from the parsnips and sweet potatoes. Really, I should probably have some greens on here as well, but I'm not steaming or broccoli, I'm dying. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna have this video as quite a long one. Usually, I'd cut the video here and start the next one because this would probably edit down to like 12 minutes. I think I'm going to do this uh, episode number two, a longer vlog of more days, and then the next episode I'll probably make it shorter again. And then you guys can decide which one you prefer, you prefer it longer or you prefer it shorter. But yeah, I'm going to eat this now while watching Arrow, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm dying, man, I'm dying. So peace out, people. See you tomorrow. Morning, people. It's the next day. Let's go check the weight. There's one thing I want to touch on, like someone on um, Snapchat said to me, when am I looking to bulk? I've already addressed this a couple times, I don't, I'm not sure if it's on YouTube. Basically, I said I was not looking to bulk till after like June, July, when I think I had my last holiday for the year. Like, I didn't bulk for the last probably six, seven months, purely because I wanted to more or less enjoy my physique for a while, look a bit leaner, just enjoy having a bit more like leanness to my body, because to be honest, it was good during it, but I feel like I don't want the people that just go up and down, up and down. I wanted to enjoy a certain weight, Plus, I wanted to hopefully get get like a holiday in or something early in the year, which I managed to do in the end. So that's the main reason I didn't bulk. So more or less, I, I went down to I think around 153 pounds. I stayed there at maintenance for like basically four months, and I've slowly crept back up. Purely, when it's like a surplus, purely because I got addicted to little muffins at work. I was having like one and sometimes two a day, which kind of pushed me up to where I am now. So yeah, if you think it, if it looks like I'm perpetually cutting, it's not. I've been staying at maintenance, and when I gave it too high, I drop it back down a bit. You know what I mean? That's basically the, the journey.
All right, people, I've decided to close this video out with some questions I got from my Snapchat. I posted them with like, yo, hit me with some questions. And the two ones I picked out, the first one was, do I need to have a rest day if I'm training different areas every single day? My answer to that would be, if your training intensity and volume is where it should be, I don't think you should be able to have a go on like continuously without having a rest day ever. Like I think I've lasted up to around 14, 15 days without having a rest day when I went every single day. But then after a while it took its toll on me. But if you can go like literally month to month to month without not having a rest day, I kind of feel like, and you're like a normal person, if you're an athlete or something then give or take is your body member used to that kind of level of activity. Everybody's different at the end of the day, maybe you don't need to, but I would personally say check your intensity level. Like, do you really believe that you're training to see the most efficient way you can be and the most effective way you can be in the gym? If the answer is yes and you still need a rest day, then then keep doing what you're doing really. If you don't have a rest day, obviously you can obviously do deload days or deload weeks when you just um, drop the weight down lighter. It's up to you really and okay. The final question now, or the second question, is um, it was from Sarah Louise. Sorry, the first person's name was Nathan Burke, was it? But anyway, this question comes from Sarah Louise. It was, um, why do I follow if it's your macros instead of like a bro, uh, bro food? And to be honest, I wouldn't say I strictly do either. Like for example, I do if it fits your macros when I want to eat something a bit more different and still fit it into my calorie intake for the day. Uh, for example, like mixed berry toasties I like, or the certain cereal, the blueberry cereal, stuff like that. I have to, on those days I'll do if it fits your macros because I need it to fit in my calorie intake and try and hit my macros. But for the most part, a lot of the foods I eat are whole foods. Like if you watch this video, there's a lot of whole foods in there. There was there was chicken, there was prawns, there was vegetables. I don't eat a crazy amount of vegetables, so that's when I'm losing out of the micro. For those of you who don't know what bro foods is, it's basically foods that are like just whole foods that have a lot of micronutrients in it, which is like the old school bodybuilders would strictly eat. And if it's your macros. Is kind of the new flex everyone's doing, like Christian Guzman, Rob Lipsy, whatever, where you kind of fit in different kind of foods into your diet, and as long as it hits your macros, you're more or less happy. Your macros and your calories. But the people that do that often miss out on a lot of micros, which comes from like veggies and stuff, because they only concern themselves with macros and not the micros. And I'd say I always try and make sure I get micros into my diet. Like I'm not just eating gummy bears and um, and just bullshit and trying to fit it in. I do eat real shit as well. But really, it comes down to the direct individual. Me, I try and do a bit of both. It really depends on the, the given day. If I want to eat out something like the friend or something like that, then yeah, I'll have to follow that if it's macros approach. But on a normal day, we really don't have crazy amounts of uh, um, what's called foods that aren't really proper foods that have like nutrients. The only thing I need to really do for me is up the vegetables. But for those of you watching, really, it's up to you. The only thing I will say is if you follow if it's macros, I would try and at least get some sort of veggies in as well. My other story, both options can get you looking good. But if you want to take the extra step and have like a better health conscious wise, be sure to get in the micros as well. Or bro foods, you want to call it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, people. If you like the video, please let me know. Thumbs it up. Stay getting gains. And don't forget to finger the like button. Finger the subscribe button if you're new. People aren't meant to be able to do this stuff. Like, it's literally Spider-Man. <laughs> hey. Watch, that's on live mission now. I'm going to learn how to do that shit.